think they're here. I don't know, man. I Where? think they're here. I think, I think we got them. No way. I think we got them. Yeah, so we're the bike, the one that got stolen. Yeah, we're looking for it, and we're getting the police involved. He got his bike stolen, and then he's friends with the owner who owns the bike sure, stop. What the fuck? Is that? The guy emailed him was like, "Hey, I need a charger for this bike." It's an electronic bike, and it's so his bike. And the guy sent a picture of my exact bike. So my friend who owns the bike shop. Why the fuck you lying? Look, here's the guy. Here's a picture of your bike. This is the guy who took it. We got a huge day on the vlog today. 30 days in the making. A robbery. A bike robbery. I gotta tell you what happened. Quiz, come on in here, man. That's exactly what Gotham needs right now. Thanks for having me today. I'm gonna try to explain the best of my ability what actually happened on this, this blessed day. This cursed day, should I say. So you give me a call and you say, I got a major problem. Went to get my bike, it was locked. Securely. It was it was during the day. I just ran in to get a slice of pizza and then came out. Broad daylight. Boom. Broad daylight. Phone charger? Phone charger down here. Wow. He asked me to get it shipped here, so I said yes. Only charge him ten ninety nine per night for shipping and storage. So not getting that. Did you see the guy? Did you see the suspect? I didn't. The guy was fast. He definitely was professional judging by the, the craftsmanship of this work. It's a fifteen hundred dollar bike, isn't it? It's sixteen, but I'm not trying to brag or anything, yeah. Did you pay for it? It was gifted a, to you. Okay, no. From there, I, just, I was like, I'm gonna find the guy. And so you said, I'm gonna find this guy in a city of 11 billion people. No, 11 million. Look, in a city of 11 billion people, you no, thought- No, 11 million. But the thing is, if you know there's 11 million people in the city, 12 million. Billion. You can build a list, right? And then you basically, you can start scratching them off one at a time. There so this guy just steals your bike, right? And you found him. This is how crazy the story is. He got the bike from his friend Casey, right? Was the name Casey? I don't know why I asked you that. I know Casey. Casey, if you're <laughs> watching the vlog, hi. About 10 days ago, Quiz gets a, a call from Casey, the, the bike owner who gave Quiz the bike, and he said, I got a really suspicious email for a guy asking for a battery. Correct. Asking, it's an electronic bike, so it needs a battery. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And uh, so the guy calls and says that he doesn't know what model the bike is. He doesn't know where the battery's installed. So it's obviously a guy that didn't get the instructional video. That's that very so suspicious. Good. That's very suspicious. It is. Um, so right away, Casey thinks, hmm, I think this might be Quiz's bike. So. Right? Yeah. Hopefully. You have the paper and everything? I have the, yeah, I have the paper and everything. So go down there. Yeah, it should be good. Hell yeah. 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 We're gonna get My man. We're gonna get it's been a I month. One month of pure investigation. No, but the thing is, you know I've been leaving off this a little bit like early, yep. right? You're probably wondering where I'm going. You've been doing stakeouts. It's like I got a good pair of binoculars and a wig. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell me about it. You found the one guy who just tried to steal your bike. Nobody fucks with the quiz like Nobody that, Nobody fucks with the fuck. Nobody. Dude, you're, you're gonna get your bike back. Probably. So we decided we had to call in the boys in blue. Uh, NYPD. <laughs> the city's finest. Yep. Local law enforcement. <laughs> Boy, this guy messed with the wrong two guys. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they... So where we go? Alright, let's this go. Is, hey man, good luck. Let's Thanks, see this. Bro. What we did was we went to the ninth precinct. That's our favorite precinct. Thank you. That's why I went to Because God, they are they just put in the hours there. The city's taxpayers' money is really <laughs> working overtime in that building. Fact. Say it. Fact. So we're we're in the precinct now and the guys just, they're putting in, they're putting in the man hours. They all care, there's three of them. How the, much is the bike valued at? Uh, I think it retails for like 13 or 1400. Okay. Um, it's an electronic bike, so. You gotta tell you, my favorite was Officer Kibbles. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a seat. Yeah, okay, thanks. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? You have a video or picture yet? 
Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we got it right here. So this silver ring right here is what I've added to the bike to stabilize the handlebars, and I recognize these scratches. Um, That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. And you can also see he has other bikes in the background, so I don't know if this is like... Uh, can I hear it again? Your friend's been in contact with this guy trying correct, to get correct. him to come in? Yeah, correct. Basically asked the guy to send a picture of the bike in mm. so we can identify the model gotcha. with the intentions of figuring out if it is in fact the Quizard's bike. Oh God, and it was, wasn't it? And it was. There's a oh distinctive mark on the bike. I made it... A, I souped it up, pimp my ride style. Let's go. If this guy's get caught, you're gonna prosecute, right? I mean, really, I want my bike back, but I mean, I, yeah, I'll, I'll prosecute. Let me have. Yeah, I'll prosecute. We have the guy's email and phone number because Casey gave it to us because he was looking for a. a, a, a uh, just have a seat. In the description of what happened here, I'm gonna write, he stole my fucking bike. <laughs> Even if we had all the 100% the evidence that we had, which you had, you got the mm -hmm. pictures, the emails, mm -hmm. we still needed to fill out a police report. So Quiz walked his fat ass in there and started filling Not out. Fat. All right, so you gotta fill out a police report first and then have to interview a detective mm -hmm. and then they're gonna call this guy. And then we bust them. Bad boys, bad boys. You don't know if, if Detective Kittle, Kibbles is gonna go and, and, and do the do the hard work necessary. But, you but I told him this is a slam dunk case, <laughs> like Stockton to Malone. I'm Stockton, he's Malone. Alley oop. No! Three points! All right, so basically Quiz is inside filling out a police report, and uh, you gotta fill out a police report so you can talk to a detective. When the detective calls you, that's when you get to the nitty gritty and they're gonna figure this out. Quiz, wow, you're back. Yeah. Dude, this is the home run case, Stockton to Malone. Tom Brady, <laughs> Tom Brady to... <laughs> to Luke Longley. No, no to Gronk. Gronk, 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 All right, so we're gonna figure this out. Gotta wait for the uh, detective to... Yeah, they're gonna call my phone and they're gonna say, we got him, Quiz. I think we should probably get some mustaches and some wigs. And yeah, we're, we're probably out, gonna stake, stake out, out this in front place. of the place before they go attack him, so we'll see you soon. Two days go by. We haven't heard from Officer Kibbles, but you're still doing stakeouts at this point. But why did you get a burner phone? This conversation stays between us. The thing is, you'll know if they're trying to, if, if they're listening in their calls. And also, I had a little bit of a reason to believe that the police were actually. <laughs> <laughs> you get the call two days later from Officer Kibbles. Tell me what happened. We're gonna set up the sting for tomorrow in Alphabet City. Um, be there and uh, to identify the bike. And I have a key that fits my exact bike battery. So it's a home run case. It's a, it's just it's the, a the slam dunk. They we know they're gonna, they're setting him up. Set him up. You're going you're going there. Unfortunately, I was out there looking for bears in, in Canada, so I didn't have the vlog sick. But Quiz took the possibly the shittiest video of all time of the sting operation. Here it is. All right, so you saw the guy in the white shirt getting kind of stuffed into the car from the the two detectives. Why did? Well, that's that's. Well, what happened? So they, they, the detectives made me like stand away. They, I got to go walk up to the guy and identify the bike, and they said just don't talk shit to him, which I probably should have talked some shit to him. You should have talked shit to him. He stole fucking, your fucking, fucking bike. bike. So you decided to take the worst cell phone footage. How did you get the shakiness down? Did you just like? <laughs> but now he's behind bars. So you got the guy. He's locked up. Don't let me out. He's locked up. Don't get me out. It caught a young jersey. This is a life lesson. Persistence pays off. 30 days, quiz find somebody out of 15 billion people. If there's a stolen bike out there, we do not rest until the bike is found. Oh, say that again. Say it again. I uh, like I said, my bike got stolen again. I don't know what to do. You just lost your bike again. I didn't lose it, dude. I locked it up and then and it's gone. Same spot. Did you lock it, Quiz? I mean, I'm like pretty sure it is. It's crazy. We didn't think we were gonna catch this guy, and then you call me up and you say, "Come to the motherfucking po -po police station." Home. I know, but you have warrants out for your arrest, so I was—I didn't think you were actually gonna come. Yeah, that's why I, I had the vlog stick over my head. Oh man, Officer Kibbles, so good. He told me that I was gonna be Stockton, he was gonna be Malone. 
alley-oop. Slam dunk! Three points. 